friends subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon thank you very much Hello all my dear students, it's Ms. Suraj once again in front of you to have. Today I'm going to tell you about an interesting story from the fourth chapter of the book Vistas of class 12, which is The Enemy. This story is written by Paul Yesbog, an American writer and novelist. This story was written during the time of Second World War. This story took place in the year 1941 in one of the towns of Japanese coast. During that time, there was war between America and Japan. 1941 was the year when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Japanese were quite hostile to Americans and ready to kill any American found in their motherland. This story begins with the description of House of the main character whose name is Dr. Sadao Hoki. His house was situated on the coast of Japan. The house was set upon the rocks that had a fine boundary line made with pine trees. Dr. Sadao Hoki used to play around in that fine surrounding during his childhood days. Dr. Sadao Hoki's father was quite patriotic and serious type of person who cared much more about his son's education and future. His father had sent him to America to study surgery and medicine at the age of 22. Dr. Sadao Hoki returned to his homeland at the age of 30. He came from America with Hana, a Japanese girl. He met Hana at Professor Harley's house. He married her in his homeland, taking permission of both families. Dr. Sadao Hoki became quite popular in Japan, not only as a surgeon, but also as a scientist. Actually, he was perfecting discovery related with Ons Klein. Before dying, Dr. Sadao's father also got chance to see his son's popularity in Japan. Dr. Sadao was quite perfect in his surgery practice. He was believed as a reliable surgeon. During the time of Second World War, most of the doctors had been sent with troops for the treatment in the battlefield. But Dr. Sada Hoki hadn't been sent with the troops because the condition of old Japanese general wasn't good. He might need an immediate operation at any time. That's why Dr. Sada was being kept in Japan. The old general was the patient of Dr. Sadao, whom the general believed so much. Dr. Sadao Hoki was living his life very happily along with his wife Hana and two kids. One evening, while Dr. Sadao and Hana were talking, both of them saw a man coming towards them, crawling from the ocean. That man was white in complexion but seriously wounded. Through that man's cap, both of them came to know that the man was soldier of U.S. Navy. Both of them realized that the soldier was a prisoner of war. Both Dr. Sadao and Hana become quite confused in the matter of helping him or not. They thought that their servants would object them if they held an enemy. Both of them even planned to handle him to the Japanese army. But finally, both of them took the wounded soldier to their house. The wounded soldier was kept in Dr. Sadao Hoki's father's bedroom. Before treatment of wounded soldier, it was quite necessary to clean his wounds. They asked their servants to clean his wounds, but they denied touching American soldier's body. Among those servants, one was Yumi and next was Old Gardener. 
both of the servants did not like Dr. Sadao's efforts of healing an anim. After their denial, Hana herself cleaned his wounds with hot water. Dr. Sadao asked his wife to assist him. Hana was asked to inject anesthesia in the wounded soldier's body. She helped her husband. She felt quite uneasy there because she had never seen operation in such a way. While trying to find out blood in wounded soldier's body, the blood was oozing out. Hana rushed outside in the garden to vomit. After some time, she joined her husband again. Dr. Sadao did his best in finding the blood from wounded soldier's body. After a few days, that soldier gained consciousness. The soldier asked the doctor if he was going to handle him to the Japanese army, but Dr. Sadao remained silent. The servants were not feeling good about Dr. Sadao's ex. On the seventh day after that incident, two things happened in that house. In the morning time, both of the servants left their job. In the afternoon time, a messenger came to Dr. Sadao's Hoki's house in uniform. Hana felt quite afraid to see him there. But the messenger reported about the pains of old general and Dr. Sadao had to meet him urgently. After receiving masses, Dr. Sadao moved to see the old general. He informed each and everything about that American soldier to the general. The old general advised the doctor that he would send his two assassins to kill and bury him. Dr. Sadao agreed on old general's advice. When Dr. Sadao returned to his house, he came to know the name of that soldier as Tom while talking. Dr. Sadao waited for two nights, but nothing happened with Tom. He was alive. No assassin came to kill Tom the third night too. Finally, Dr. Sadao planned to act further. He provided his own boat to Tom along with food and extra clothing to escape. He advised Tom to move nearby island and wait for the Korean fishing boat to escape safely. He gave him his flashlight too. He advised Tom to give him two flashlight signals as the sun set in case his food ran out. In case he was still there and was safe, he was to give him only one flashlight signal. After that one night, Dr. Sadao was called urgently for the operation of Old General. Dr. Sadao performed his best for 12 hours in the operation theater. During the time of operation, he even lost his hope. But the old general started breathing deeply and demanded for food items to eat. After a week, the old general became quite well. He appreciated Dr. Sadao for his task and also promised him for his rewards. During that time, Dr. Sadao informed the old general about the escape of American prisoners. The old general also revealed that he had been suffering a lot. That's why he was unable to send his assassins. He had forgotten his promise due to his own pains. That night, Dr. Sadao waited until dusk for flashlight signals. He found no flashlight signals from the island. He thought that the American soldier had gone away and was safe. So this is all in all about this interesting story, The Enemy by Paulius Bach. This story has shown the tremendous concept of humanity where a doctor has played very important role in saving a wounded American prisoner's life. Now I would like to present you some important questions and their answers which will help you in your examination.
Thank you for watching this video. We'll meet again in my next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Thank you very much.